let's start with a test. How many of you are still awake? Hands up. A few anyway, that's nice, great. Um, now try to click. Uh, another test, how many knows what mitochondria is? Oh, that's a good show of hands. And diabetes? Well, oh, that's a good one. Um, so, sorry, I'm gonna go one back. So this is exactly what we do. We work with mitochondria, dysfunction, and diabetes. And it's a very, very exciting area because you'll see here. Oh, sorry, need to point on here. We do a little bit of magic here. Um, as, but as all good magic, it's based in science. Here we go. I made this one myself. Um, so up here is what we focus on, the energy production in the cell. And under certain circumstances, it doesn't work. Um, actually, this is the culprit, VDAC1. Um, it, under certain circumstances, this VDAC1 forms like a pore. It's supposed not to. But when it does, it lets uh, the energy components, uh, ATP and ADP, through and unregulated. And that means that the cells shut down. We started looking at this in diabetes. Um, we used uh, cells from type 2 diabetics that um, um, actually couldn't produce insulin properly. So we stimulate with glucose, nothing happens. We add our drug, we say abracadabra, and then stimulate with glucose, and they start producing insulin. It is a little bit of magic, right? Um, as you can see, beta cell dysfunction uh, actually affects a lot of things. Uh, the drug is not champagne, but it actually shows what we, our drug is doing. We plug the hole up there where I made a little red circle. So we plug those holes, and then the cells Go, oh, sorry, the cells start go back to working and actually producing insulin. Yeah, here's the more scientific uh, slide, which is very nice. The, showing the mitochondria oligomerization, showing the um, cell, mem cell membrane mistargeting. Um, and here is some data showing what actually happens. Um, you can see that VDAC1 is upregulated in type 2 diabetics, and when we treat, we actually restore the function. And this slide is my favorite one. It shows exactly what we can do for patients in the end. And if we look up here, we see insulin secretion restored. That's what you want, right? We can see insulin sensitivity restored. We can see fasting blood gl glucose restored. We can see post-treatment glucose control. And this is quite fantastic because uh, most diabetic drugs, they are given and the effect is disappears very quickly. In type two diabetics, this is a problem because I don't know if there's a type two diabetic and please don't be offended, but you are generally quite incompliant, which causes more tr prob problems in this disease. We fix that too, because several weeks after the last dose in mice, we, they were still non-glucemic. So, here we go. As for market, I think everybody has become aware that this is a big market. I mean, look at our neighbors uh, to the west, the Danes making, um, Splashing GLP ones. This is, of course, um, humongous market, humongous potential. Oh, sorry, we need to click on. Um, again, capturing a share in this large segment is absolutely fundamental. Um, and what I just want to say, it doesn't stop that. Mitochondria is in many, many cells. We are also, therefore, working with two companies at this time. We got Biogen uh, for uh, Alzheimer's. We're working with Lilly for um, creating um, antibodies. 
And um, as you can see, there's a healthy number of really, really good companies that um, could be interested in this. And we also have a sorry, beautiful board, as you can see, and collaborators. Thanks a lot.